Hello and welcome back. This video is a video on effects using music from Pokemon. This is the third video in this effects series and this is going to talk about a different type of effects than we've done before. So let's jump in. Here we go. So I will just briefly play you this Pokemon remix that I did. And so we want to listen to this instrument mostly. It's playing the melody. It's like a digital sound. Cool. So we're just going to take this little chunk right here and use that to try out all our effects. So if I click on this, it will highlight this. And notice I've turned down reverb and I've turned down delay. So we're getting a clean sound. It sounds like this one more time. Cool. All right, so we're going to go to effects, obviously. And these we're going to actually get rid of since they're not doing anything. Um, actually, we'll leave stereo chorus for now. So if I click on this, I can go and add. So let's hear it. If I go to compressor one. So this will be not as easy to hear because it's not a tone changing thing. It changes volume and it doesn't just turn the volume up or down it changes the relative volume on a really small scale so let's hear if we can hear the difference Okay, so what that's doing is it's taking the audio and it's normally got a lot of peaks and valleys. Like when the note starts, it's loud and then it gets quieter all of a sudden. But what compressor does is take all those peaks and valleys and kind of smush them so that it's basically the same volume the entire time. So now that you know that, listen to it one more time and I'll try to make it really obvious. So you notice it's also just making it louder in general, which is one of the things that compressors tend to do. You don't necessarily have to make it louder. What I could do is I could turn this on and then I could turn the volume down. And that's called makeup gain. Um, and so what makeup gain does is kind of counteract the overall increase in volume that a compressor does and keep it the same volume. Obviously, in Soundtrap, you have to do makeup gain manually. You have to do it by yourself. OK, so moving on, we've got delay. Now, delay is much easier to hear. So let's use just a regular old delay. We'll use this delay right here. And this will be pretty obvious when you hear it. So a delay is like an echo, in case you couldn't hear that. It makes it echo in a certain way. And if I go back into delay and turn it back on, you can see this mix button controls just how much delay is there. You'll notice it's also controlling this delay button or a knob right there. And then time is how quick the echo is. So it could be either a really fast echo or a really slow echo, aka delay. All right. Then we have stereo delay, which is also cool. And it what it does is it does the same thing, but it uses the left and right ear differently. So let's hear how that sounds. I'm gonna turn the mix all the way up so you can hear it, obviously. So 
So that's with it pretty much off. All the way up. Do you hear that echo? Okay, so that is delay. And then there's slap back. So slap back is actually still a delay technically, um, but it's a little bit different. So let's just listen to it. That's the easiest way to understand it. You know what? We're actually going to go and we're going to do this on drums. This will make it super obvious. So those are drums without any effects. Now check out if I click on drums and click on effects and I add a slap back and turn it all the way up. So it's like a really fast delay. And let's go back to stereo delay. So that's a kind of a crazy way to use it. I'm turning the time all the way down. So the delay is happening super fast. The echo is happening super fast. And let's see, now we've got one more, and it is the Dynamics Compressor. So this is similar to Compressor 1. They're both compressors, and they both change the volume in certain ways. It's just that this one actually has some more intricate controls. So here we go. So that's not really doing anything. If I do that, and then I can turn the threshold down. See that GR? That means gain reduction, which means it's actually doing something. Gain is like another word for volume. And so if I'm reducing the gain, I'm turning the volume down. And so what this is doing is whenever you see that gain reduction going down, it's basically like the compressor is like turning down the volume really quickly. And however far down on this little meter it goes, that's in decibels, that's showing you how much the volume is being turned down automatically by this compressor. That's the easiest way to understand it. So let me just tweak around with these uh, parameters just a little bit and you can see what each one, you can hear what each one does. So if I turn the ratio up, that compresses it even more. So that's like totally squashing everything, which it might seem weird, but that actually is a fairly common thing to do in certain styles. Not in all styles of music, but in certain styles, they'll really, really compress everything a lot. So that's what a compressor does. So that's it for the effects video number three. Look in the description and you can find a link to number four.